It's your girl, Miss Bree, coming to you where? Coming to you live from Battle Creek. And I promise you, we're going to take this all across the globe. It's for all my Creoles and my Indians. Nationwide, coming near you. How y'all doing today? This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. No matter what you're going to just on our sisters and brothers and children to see your mommies and daddies or whether that is over you. And government, I humbly ask you, all those things you said you would give to us, I need to talk to you. I was going to break in the cycle of incarceration, part three, and I want my apology to the documents on YouTube. Now, we using you to we got to respect them. Just like they did with you, uh, my cousin Jim Houston's body. I need to talk to somebody. And people, don't wait till your family, okay, die. Or be waiting for them to die so y'all can argue over money. Money is the root of all evil, baby. That's why when I got high and stuff, everybody that, that think they knew me, they can say something about me and say, you say it's just a cigarette, okay? It's just a rock, okay? But I got a real rock now. I'm smoking. Jesus, okay? And um, I just thank God that uh, I had the experience and that I did not die, okay? But I'm telling my story. I did die, but I resurrected. Somebody brought me back to life through Jesus Christ and not told me. But while they were taking me home, they did not take me to the hospital. Oh, that is how selfish the devil is in these bodies. Y'all be influenced by these bodies, in these bodies, by either any negative feeling is a negative energy. Okay? Anytime you feel like, what am I feeling like this? You feel something different, it's the devil. So if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, the devil is going to put in that body and you and you crazy. You're going to end up killing somebody or killing yourself or going still in out of stores, end up in jail, and then in prison for life. And, Lord have mercy. When y'all be listening to this music and you be like, kill a nigga, yeah, them songs be corrupting your minds. Those are a sign of the mark of the beast. Okay, this money is a mark of the beast, okay, because God gave us this money, okay, honey, and for y'all information, this money that we is lacking from comes from these trees, you know, the Willy Wonka, uh, chocolate factory, I wonder, and every time I wonder something, God allowed to happen, so, I Willy Wonka, chocolate factory, I said, look, my faith is so crazy, I claim in the name of Jesus that I will be the first lady. To become president, okay? If we can believe in God, believe big. It's time to take back over the territory that the devil take from God. God is the government. So in the government office in his world that he created himself without our help that keeps our bodies, hearts pumping and our minds thinking, the nerves of whoever don't operate under God's law. God is of law and that law of homosexuality and them getting married, y'all help bring COVID-19 in. And then when I planted that seed into the ground, yeah, I planted the seed. Okay, God said, cast uh, your bread amongst waters. What is your bread? Okay, that money, $10, I did. I did not want to give my $10 to the dope man no more. So I said, Lord, I'm going to take this 10 And because I don't know which church to give it to or anything, I didn't say exactly that. I ain't going to lie, because I think hell hallway, okay, it's like the streets that y'all be driving down, they say we ain't got no grass, everything is gray, and I went up some stairs, and I seen in the opening of a form of a man's body, and for y'all information, Jesus Christ is not white or black, and neither is either one of us is, and uh, he, his body 
is like the cloud colors, okay? He made sure that nobody could see anything. But however, whatever color he was, it does not matter. It started off in Israel when he told them to go into all the world and preach the gospel. See, God had, when he created the earth all over again after he destroyed it. Oh, that's another thing. God told me that to tell y'all if y'all don't get God's house together, okay, just like y'all be telling y'all kids, y'all be getting his house is dirty. God saying my house is dirty. This this house called the earth. So why everybody around the world is arguing about territory and stuff? Okay, he said take over territory. Okay, take over the territory. Okay, and live. Back to the subject about the uh, money. This money is these trees. Y'all cut the trees down and shave it down, and 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 and, 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 and it becomes a thin piece of paper. Okay, then y'all put them prints on there, them symbols, and, and the person's faces. We need y'all to get some people, cause I know it's a whole bunch of people in Battle Creek. Okay, that is tired of selling drugs. Okay, and in Michigan, all over the world. Now y'all want to stop people from doing this stuff, don't you? Give us some money so we can help our place, make be a better place. <laughs> Any evil people, <clears throat> you need to go to jail. But half these people that's going here has problems and habits. That is separate from just evil people. But you do need to take them down into the holding cell, okay? But when y'all go down there, just don't leave these bodies behind these closed doors. They still have spirits and their hearts is broken. They need to be healed. And that is where Miss uh, John Bradley come in. But you also need somebody that's anointed to go in. When we have prayer and stuff, y'all need to be uh, letting people pray over them when they come in so they can get them spirits out of them. You know what I'm saying? So when they go in there, they won't be going with them other people. And then them spirits go on those spirits. And all them legions come together. And y'all wonder why I was going up them stairs to segregation. That's right. God had me, <coughs> excuse me, go every time somebody would go up them stairs to say it. And they would be acting crazy. And everybody would be like, shut the F up. And I'm like, and I couldn't sleep. It was bothering my spirit. Because, see, my ears is real sensitive. The closer you get to God, your ears get sensitive. All that cussing and stuff, it hurts. Okay. Yeah, it hurts. Okay. It's stripping me. I want to die loose up in here. I'm showing y'all my transformation. If y'all go back to my very first Facebook, Tanisha Graves 2014, <coughs> y'all can start from the beginning. Okay, and then look at all my other Facebooks and then look at my YouTube page and my channel. Okay, I say nothing except it come from him. If I don't hear my father's voice, okay, I don't speak. So when y'all be looking at people coming to y'all with messages, y'all be looking at this with y'all natural eye, but y'all ain't looking at the eye behind it, which is the eye of that spirit. Okay, that spirit is that seed of righteousness. Okay, and uh. Greater is he that is in me, which is God. So God that is in me, that made me, that is the potter, and I am the clay. <coughs> he operates in me. As he cleaned me on the inside, my outer begins to look like my inside. Even though I have flaws that you see, I'm showing y'all my flaws and stuff. So while y'all look at that myself and they say, how can she talk about God and smoke this and do that? How could y'all do what y'all do? What you ain't doing that I don't see? But I can't talk about you because I can't. I ain't even gonna talk about me. I ain't even gonna talk about me. Cause talking about me, I give it to God. Okay, I'm doing like Joyce Meyer said. Y'all be carrying backpacks around. Okay, yeah. He said, cast all your cares on him for you care. He cared for you. You need to do the shoulder lean, shoulder lean, and drop them problems off in them jeans. Y'all better know that. Time is really running out. So I all y'all around here just walking dead man walking like y'all in a zombie zone. You know what I'm saying? We come cracking to the sky. You like oh, it's gonna hit you. You know what I'm saying? And this newscast. God said he did not give us a spirit of fear with what of power in a sound mind. Okay, anything that is bringing you fear is of the devil. The news is good to aware of what's going on in your community. However, they also need to bring encouragement to go along with that. Okay, you can say what is going on in the world, the world. Okay, God said you are in the world, but not of it. So anybody that is uh, a child of God, quit worrying about, okay, the money of doing however, whatever you need to be doing or whatever. Quit worrying about it. And whatever you're doing, okay, that's wrong. You repent right now. Okay, say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I ask you to 
Forgive me, okay? Because I don't want to do nothing against your will. But Lord, you see these people out here. It's savages. They are getting money for us and not trying to help us. And I'm put in this predicament where my kids got to eat. And it's either me going to these stores and steal, and I don't want to go to jail. So, yeah, I'm selling dope. But I don't want to sell dope, Lord. And I know that I'm your child because I love you and I do believe you. And God looks at your heart. Man looks on the outside. God looks at your heart. No, he's not saying that's right. But he also know it's wrong how you are being treated, okay? And then he also have mercy on people, especially when they ain't putting that fit and all that stuff in there. Now, he's not agreeing with it, but the, the reason why some of y'all ain't being caught is because he's sparing you. And he has a way of escape. He said when the devil tempts you, he will cause a way of escape. What's the way of escape? Escape through your prayers. Let's start coming out and praying together, okay? I don't care what your differences is. We need to stop judging. And the reason why y'all prayers ain't being answered is because y'all got a pipeline and it's being clogged up. Okay, this is the start of the pipeline. This is heaven floor. This is your floor. When you come right here and you call out, this pipe that goes up, there's a blockage right here of unforgiveness. So y'all need to start forgiving. He said, confess your faults one to another. Okay. Ask and you shall receive. Receive knowledge. Okay. Stop asking for money and ask for the knowledge of wisdom of Solomon. And God will give you ideas just like he gave me. My mind goes so much. Now I understand why the devil wanted me on medication. He did not want me to know that. If I stay in tune with the Holy Spirit and I have Creole in me and I reverse the curse, my ancestors who practice voodoo, if I practice Jesus, Jesus doodoo on the devil, I see the witches and them got voodoo. I got Jesus doodoo, okay, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And we're going to get some healing going on around here because it is healing by the blood of the Lamb. But as I think about it, uh, who can I run to? Escape. When I need love, Jesus is the one who coming to you. Somebody is. Tyler Berry, I did call you in 2021, and you did not answer my phone call. Whoever was there, that's not me. You a busy man, but I got to tell you some stuff, brother. I got my own company, but I do want to come together with you because we can do stuff together, okay, and get paid together. We gotta keep this money in a circle. We are the party, but we are the who. Potty Tidies coming near you too. They're going to be musical Potty Tidies. So when these kids sit on these toys, they need encouragement, okay? And yeah, and then the face fight around can be the devil. Okay, it's time. It's, what time is it? Potty Tidy time on the devil. Potty Tidy time. You get him back that poop. Poop on the devil, okay? It's going to be a, a devil face in the inside of a toilet thing with an X on his head. So when they poop, it's going right back on him. That is for the kids to get revenge back on the devil for us having to have a booty hole. For real. God let me know that there was never going to be a backside. He, we didn't have to poop, okay? We poop out because when Eve ate and opened her eyes, she opened the eye too in the booty hole because she didn't. there was no toxics. Everything was good, okay? So there was not going to be any boo-boo, okay? Now there's boo-boo because now there's toxics because they ate off the tree of good and evil and it was not no apple. Y'all need to be reading these scriptures. God said whoever adds to the word or take away from the word, you will be beat with many stripes. And I am here to tell you I am not judging nobody. And when I said take your identity back, the devil be taking people identity. Okay, that's the mark of the beast. When the devil try to tell you you is something that God is not. No, no. The devil is a liar. He steals people identities. He tells them that they are thieves, they are murderers, they are homosexuals, they are not good enough. And then they start feeling that way and they feed that negative energy and they give all their power of the light that God had gave you as a child growing up and the devil strips you from that light energy. Okay, he needs your power. He is weak, he is nothing. He is useless without you. Stop participating at the table with the devil. Stop giving him your keys to your vehicle. This is your vehicle. This body is the temple of the Lord, okay? And whatever is going on with you, you look to your father. He said, look to the hills where your help come from, okay? You see up there? Your help coming from the Lord. And that ain't being religious. See, the devil wants y'all to think people be trying to judge y'all. We just be telling y'all what thus says the Lord say. And if you don't say what thus says the Lord say, and he tell you to tell somebody, and you be scared of men, you better not be a fear of men who can kill the body, but you better be afraid of the one who can kill your spirit, okay? With with whipping you with fire, with uh, brimstones, and uh, yeah, y'all need to know. God, let me be the one, okay?
See, it took Jesus to come take the keys back. Okay, but he needed a female to be bold like this, like, like Esther. I'm like Esther right now in the name of Jesus, talking to the government. I am fighting for my people, my people, everybody. Go make some more money, please. Cut down these trees, y'all cutting them down anyway. And can y'all please find some more for these years to go? I mean, for, love, for the love of God. If y'all gonna be cutting down these trees and taking these animals, uh, 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 property and stuff that y'all not even messing with and building and just letting it sit around, quit cutting down these trees if y'all is not gonna use them for money or build houses and stuff. And all these houses that's just sitting around, y'all talking about grants and stuff, get a grant, get those grants to get these houses. We will humbly do it, rent to owners something but y'all be punishing us because we don't have no money we can't get no property or start a business something we got talents too god gave everybody talents we have been discriminated we as the citizens of the united states have been discriminated while we can't have business too god gave everybody gifts and talents this is how i hear you join okay not the devils and not the devil's children okay but he is letting us all go up flowers with weeds and he said don't cut them let them grow together and then i'll pluck them out okay the harvest is ripe but the labors are few the harvest is our children inside of each and every one of you just because you've grown on the outside don't mean that you're really grown and you never don't mean that you're grown either so while these kids want to be grown they want to be grown so they can do what y'all are doing but it's bad, bad influences but if we're getting bad influences throughout all this stuff that everybody compromising with and then the parents compromise then the children's compromising and the devil is putting a mark on the beast of everybody he is marking people so back to what I was saying see I had to cut my tether off in 2016, January 1st, because I made a commitment to God. I said, Lord, I don't want to go to hell, okay? And I want to be left alone by the devil. I know the same way. And because I said, you my friend, would a friend keep doing something to a friend? You was forgiven, okay? And the friend will work with you if they know you. If you got a friend and you know they got some issues, you will work with them. But you are hoping that they will work with you too by putting into action, action to try to become a better person. And that's what God is saying to y'all. He loves you, everybody. And he wish none that should perish. The only sin that is unforgiven is his blasphemy and Holy Spirit. Saying that he's not real. <coughs> and saying that he's not real is God on the sixth day. You made man and woman, okay? And it was good. So the devil, he put his business in and he took your identity. That is a spirit behind y'all. If y'all want to, y'all like, I, I like this, but I will stop, you know what I'm saying, for Jesus, but it's hard. It's hard because that spirit is driving you crazy. You got to take your identity. You look that devil in the mirror and say, God made man and woman in six days, and on the seventh day he took his rest. And I know what my flesh like this, but I don't want to do nothing that offend my Jesus. And then you say, Lord, please help me remove these evil spirits that is in me, Lord God. I know that I don't want to admit that they are spirits, but I know that you made me as a woman, or I know that you made me as a man, and I'm acting the opposite way. So I know that that's abnormal, and because I know that's abnormal, that is not me, and that is not the core, that is a sub-personality. you got to do the first step. That's got to help you. And even if you go back and do it again, and again, and again, just keep asking God to help you. That don't make you a hypocrite. A hypocrite is the person that sit up here and act like they don't do nothing wrong, but sit and criticize everybody. That is a devil, the brother of the accuser. And I love everybody. I have to tell you what God said, or he will get me. And I've been up there, and I've seen down there. So... When you seen that, you will hurry up and get it together. You better have some other people that lost their life and was outside their body. This is a public announcement. And everybody needs to stop about this territory and arguing about gas and all that. Whatever country has whatever that the other don't, just share. Sell your product. Everybody. Get your get your hustle on. Your hustle is your work. Your work is your hands. And God bless your hands when you work with them. Now, he gave us all our gifts and talents. If you don't use your gift and talent and wait till what you think you should look like when you start, you will end up losing and you're going to be in hell. Gnashing of the teeth. He said we're going to be gnashing the teeth. But we ain't me. And CIB, uh, 
B I C T O I ride victory. Oh, and shout out to um uh Nicky Winans. Um, long as I got King Jesus. Ooh -wee. When I heard that music and I was raised up on uh B B and C C Wine, as a matter of fact, B B and C C Wine is no my auntie Donna guy. Who was my Donna through marriage. Because her brother stepped in and looked out for me and was there for me from two months old to nine or ten. I just keep it real with people. And I just love everybody, and I just want the best for everybody. Stop wondering and worrying about what you got going on that's wrong as far as your flaws, as far as your identity and everything, except who you are, okay? Except that God made you as a man or a woman and say, Lord, I accept how you made me. I don't understand why I'm acting like this and feeling like this and liking it, but Tanisha Graves said that we need to take our identity back. So, Lord, as I trust in you and I said, I believe in you, Jesus. So, because I've said I believe in you, Jesus, and I said, you is my friend, you said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments, and my commandments will not be burdensome to do. And, Lord, I want to do your commands and keep your commands and it's hard for me and I thank you that you died on the cross for my shortcomings and I'm going to try to do my best and you just do your best and let God do the rest and even if you fall or maybe be still doing whatever just give your heart to God first he start working on your heart the more you start talking to God every day and spending five or ten minutes with him he ain't no greedy guy he just wants some of your time he know we'd be busy down here but we'd be busy down here doing nothing we're not even fulfilling our car we're awesome Jonas well Y'all is being some Jonas. Not all y'all. Thank you, Jesus. Miss B. The majority of you are. It's some Jonas. Running from your car. Your car is to just live. It's a song to say, look and live. My brother, live. Look to Jesus now and live. Tis recording in his word, in God's word. Hallelujah. It's only that you look and live. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about yesterday. And take no thought of today. Just look and live. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Okay, so while you waiting on the Lord, he's going to renew that strength. Whoever's going through something, you feel weak. God is going to renew your strength as you wait on him. They shall mount up on wings. Yeah. Like an eagle. They shall walk and not be weary. They shall run and not faint. And we can enjoy for night. But joy comes in the morning. And God said, when you comfort others, you yourselves will be comforted. So you younger children, if y'all be nice to these older people, and you see they need some help, and you help mommy and daddy, or you see somebody in your community that's older, go clean up. When I was younger in the projects, I used to clean up people's houses, okay, and wash dishes, and, wa and wash their kids, okay. I never sat around and not worked, okay. My mama didn't play that. My mom taught me you got to work in life, okay. And uh, I may not have got to work as a teenager and stuff because all the stuff I went through, but I just thank God I wouldn't change my life for nothing in the world. Oh, and Mary J. Blige, I was in prison with your mother-in-law, and um, she was light-skinned. Uh, she was from uh, Brooklyn, I think. She used to talk to uh, DMX and Red Man and Method Man, and, them, and she was going to tell you that I'm your number one fan. And yes, I have a couple of, I'm, I'm some of y'all a couple of number one fans. Mary J. Blige, your story is like my story, and you helped me throughout all my time in prison, and I would love to make a song with you. And that's where I came up with I Surrender. It reminded me of No Drama. When I heard your song, I just was like, yeah, No Drama, I feel it. Thank y'all for all you who have played, you know what I'm saying? An important aspect in my life and other people's life. If there are people, and I'm not saying nothing about nobody, and I don't want nobody to get me misunderstood. I love everybody. Okay, but the mark of the beast is the sign, okay, of the end time. And the mark of the beast is some of this music. However, I'm not judging you. I'm just telling y'all that we have to set good examples around here. We cannot just settle and just do things and make these projects for money, okay? Money is the root of all evil. We have been doing a lot of compromising around here, and God is not pleased, okay? And whoever don't believe in him, every knee shall bow and every tongue is going to confess at the end. So everybody needs to confess now and say, I am sorry, Lord, for settling, for compromising and making whatever and not thinking about I'm going against the grain. The devil won't y'all to go against the grain he wants you to be rebellious so he wants you to make all type of stuff that go against the word of god okay and only god can judge you and he is he's saying i love y'all i forgave y'all but y'all is taking my grace for granted 
Uh, he said, curses every man that hangs on a tree. Okay. But it's good that those who have been uh, making stuff, you know what I'm saying, these kids been watching this stuff, and then their parents is listening to it, and then they all is in it together. You know what I'm saying? We have to be careful what we do around people. It's always somebody watching you. Okay. Thank you, uh, Yolanda Adams. Someone watching for you. I used to listen to that song. I had like 4,011 songs on my MP3 player. It was like $3,000 of the songs I had. Country, rock. Oh, um. Oh, Uncle Cracker. You may not know. Wait, wait. Follow me and everything is alright. I'll be the one to tuck you in at night. And if you want to leave, I can guarantee you won't find nobody else like Jesus. Uncle Cracker, I'm calling you out in the name of Jesus. Let's make a song for Jesus. Y'all all have a beautiful, blessed day. It's your girl, this one comes to you where? Comes to your life from Battle Creek. And I promise you, I'll take this all across the globe. Jesus.